in simple words dielectrics are insulators in this video we will learn more about dielectrics how do they get polarized and how do they affect capacitance dielectric is able to maintain electric field between two plates which are charged like in case of a parallel plate capacitor so when the dielectric is air or any other insulators the charges are stored on the plate and there is a electric field between the plates if you put a conductor between the two plates the charges will flow between the plates and we know that there is no electric field in a conductor so there is no electric field between the charged plates so the big question is how does a dielectric increase capacitance let us take pure water as a dielectric which is inserted between the parallel plate capacitors we know that h2o is a polar molecule oxygen is electronegative and pulls the electrons towards itself so the hydrogen become partially positive and the oxygen is partially negative so this creates a dipole where one end is positive and another end is negative a similar example is hcl now when this dielectric is inserted between a parallel plate capacitor and the plates are not charged these dipoles are randomly pointing in all directions but this changes when the plates are charged when a battery is connected to the capacitor charges accrue on the plates of the capacitor and this causes an electric field between the plates of the capacitor when we insert a dielectric between the capacitor plates the dipoles within the dielectric align themselves along the electric field this creates a small electric field within the dielectric and its direction is in opposite to the electric field created in the capacitor by the battery so the net electric field within the capacitor is now e minus e dash when we connect the battery again charges accrue on the plates of the capacitor so that the electric field e again can be established as per the voltage applied by the battery now if we have two material and one of the material has larger dipole moment it is obvious that it will accumulate more charges and this is how a difference in dielectric property leads to a difference in capacitance so far we have looked at polar molecules however uh, a dielectric may also have non polar molecules so essentially what happens is that the electron cloud around the atoms or the molecule get polarized under the effect of electric field and this is what causes polarization in the dielectric when very high voltage is applied to a capacitor the charges may break out of the molecules and the capacitor then behaves like a regular conductor this is known as a dielectric breakdown imagine that there is a mud dam and it is not very strong and if the water level keeps rising then it's possible that at a point the dam breaks and the water flows out in such a situation the dam uh, has then no capacity for water similarly in a dielectric breakdown the capacitor loses its capacity to hold charges and behaves like a conductor so the capacitance of a capacitor depends upon the dielectric medium and this property of the dielectric medium is referred to as the permittivity of the dielectric medium 
I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.